Hi there, my name's Abby and I like to make things and I like to make things from bits and pieces I have lying around the house. And I've got a big tray here full of things that I've found, like odd socks. Odd socks are brilliant for making friends for sock. This one has got hearts on it. And he looks friendly. But the trouble with sock with hearts is he hasn't got any eyes. So let's see what I've got in the tray. I've got some buttons that could be eyes. I've got some bottle caps that could be eyes for sock. You might have some bottle caps lying around. I've even got some pom-poms. They might be nice. There, what do you think? Or how about some little balls that I've put some fabric on? There. Now then, he looks more friendly, doesn't he? Let's see if I can colour in with some felt pens. The middle of his eyes, one. Two. And now, it helps sometimes if you've got a friend who's got an extra arm for doing this. Look, a friend for sock. Now, I would use some kind of glue to stick my eyes on this sock, but that takes a long time to dry. I've got some sticky tape that works sometimes. Look, I've made a friend for sock out of an old sock some paper balls, a bit of fabric, and how about that? A feather. If you haven't got a fancy sock and you've just got an old white sock lying around, you can still make a friend for sock. Find his mouth or her mouth and then Using your felt pens, you can simply draw. One eye. Two eyes and some eyelashes. There. She's looking really smart, but perhaps she needs some decorations. So go to town, take your sock off your arm and just colour in. I'm doing little splodges, different colours you can do, stars and flowers or just stripes. So we've got colorful, starry, flowery, stripy friend for sock and a fancy sock. What would you like to make?
Once upon a time, there was a little puppet called Sock. Sock likes nothing more than singing and tidying up. Every morning, Sock starts the day tidying up the little drawer Sock calls home. Sock lives with Miss Clown. Miss Clown is kind and jolly and plays a ukulele, but her house is very messy. Sock doesn't like mess. Miss Clown doesn't like tidying up. <sighs> All this tidying up needs a song. Oh dear Sock, look at all this mess. <sighs> hello things, hello things on the floor. Don't you wish that you could be more than things on the floor? Like a cup in the cupboard with all of its mates, a plate on the table with four other plates, hairbrush on the dresser, the mirror and comb. Aren't you all happier when you're at home? Hello beans, we can't put you in your tin, but we can make lots of new friends in the bin. Mr Toast, Mr Cheese, Granny Apple Core, isn't this so much more than being stuck on the floor? Miss Clown and Sock sing until the whole house is tidy and everything back with its friends. Miss Clown doesn't have many friends. She's very shy. Sock would like to make more friends with their singing, especially other puppets. <laughs> oh, Sock, I wonder who that could be. Hello. Hello. Is that Miss Clown? Could you come and do a show for our children? It's for our Science Week party at Great Ormond Street Hospital. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. Oh, I need to find a pencil. Ooh, I think I've lost my diary. Ooh. Miss Clown is so excited that she completely forgets that she's sitting on her diary and her pencil is behind her ear. In all the kerfuffle looking for another pencil, Sock can't hear where the big party's going to be. Hoss, hoss, hoss? Did she say horse, pee, tail? That doesn't sound very nice. But Sock was excited that they were going to perform at a big party. On the day of the party, Sock and Miss Clown are ready early with best outfits, tidy hair, and even though Miss Clown is very shy, big smiles. <laughs> Sock travels on Miss Clown's bicycle. Great Ormond Street Hospital. Ha! Huh. Miss Clown fastens their bicycle to the railing and they go in. Oh my! Bustle, bright colours and children everywhere. Lots of children to make friends and sing songs with. The hospital is neat and tidy and full of Sock's favourite thing. Cleaning! How lucky we are to come to a party here! <laughs> the organising lady marches towards them. Hello, are you Miss Clown? I'm Mrs Brown. We spoke on the phone. Come along. Lift going up. Bye everybody. Going up! As Miss Clown scurries nervously behind Mrs Brown, Sock hangs on to the edge of her basket and watching all the people and so many children. Look, it's that Sock. <laughs> Mira, Papa, it's un Socker. Hello, little Sock. Look, Daddy, that Sock's waving at me. Hello, little Sock. All the children seem to know Sock's name. Sock thinks. Perhaps Miss Clown has been invited to the special party because Sock's singing is famous. And if Sock is famous, maybe other puppets know about Sock too. Here's the room where you will do the show. You're on first. First? Ooh, 
Oh my! Followed by the puppet theatre. Sock shakes with excitement as a young man comes in pushing a little cart. <whistles> on the side is a painting of beautiful shiny people on strings. Puppets! Aha! Here is Mr Pepper and his puppets. Mr Pepper, can I introduce Miss Clown? Ooh, <laughs> pleased to meet you Mr Pepper. <laughs> right Miss Clown. Miss Clown is on first, followed by your puppets. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie at that, Mrs Brown. Being called puppets, they're on string, see, so they're marionettes. They're awful particular about it, I'm afraid. Ooh, well, my sock's happy to be called a puppet. Aren't you, sock? Hello, Mr Pepper. I really am famous, thinks sock. Look how excited Mr Pepper is to meet us. As Mr Pepper and Miss Clown look at each other, it's as if he's the shy one and she's the happy one. The doors to the big room open and the children arrive. Some with friends, some with family, some walking, some on wheels or being carried. <laughs> Look, it's that funny sock. <laughs> Mira, Papa, is muy gracioso. Oh, I want to sit at the front, Daddy. As Miss Clown and Sock jump on the little stage to begin the song for the children, she forgets to be shy at all. Hello, children. Hello, kids on the floor. There are seats at the back. I think we need more. We're so happy to be here with all of this crowd. And if you sing too, we can sing very loud. You out there on the screens, you're not alone. Don't ever forget you can take part at home. We are so many, like beans in a tin. If we follow Sock's actions, we can all join in. Everybody at home, in hospital or wherever you are, now is the time to grab your socks and get ready, okay? Everybody ready? If you want to do the sock dance, it goes like this. Nod to your one side, nod to the next. Bend to your one side, bend to the next. Wiggle over there, wiggle over here. Squish right down and spring up high. Let's pretend we can all fly. Whee! Everybody ready? Let's suck. And roll! We're so many, like beans in a tin. If we follow Sock's actions, we can all join in. I don't have arms, I don't have feet. So we do the Sock dance, it's really neat. Nod to your one side, nod to the next. Bend to your one side, bend to your next. Wiggle over there, wiggle over here, squish right down and spring up high. Let's pretend we can all fly. Whee! All the children join in socks dance, wiggling and nodding and pretending they can fly. At the end, when the grown-ups start clapping, all the children run or wheel onto the stage. They hug Sock, they cuddle Sock, they kiss Sock. Then they start hugging and cuddling him all over again. Stop enjoying yourself so much, children. Sit down to enjoy the puppets. Sock can hear a stringy rustling sound behind the stage. Sock turns excitedly to meet the other puppets. Three pairs of cold painted eyes blaze angrily at Sock. A witch with a green nose. A prince with a gold crown. And a princess with long hair. Hello, I'm Sock, the puppet. <laughs> You're not a puppet, you silly knitted Cabbage. I've got a good mind to put a spell on you to unravel you. <laughs> How dare you speak to us about puppets? 
We're marionettes, traditional artisan-made marionettes. A prince, a princess, and a witch. Well, I'm a traditional handmade glove puppet. My friend Miss Clown made me from the two best materials, wool and love. As Sock says this, the mean princess begins to laugh. It isn't a very nice laugh. In fact, it's a very mean laugh. <laughs> Miss Clown is a silly idiot. You're not a puppet. You're not even a glove. You're a lost sock. A smelly old sock full of dirty germs. Oh, I'm not full of germs. I'm a very clean puppet. The marionettes rattle past, click-clacking their shiny feet on the little stage. Poor Sock hides as the mean marionettes act out the story of Rapunzel, imprisoned in a high tower. Help! Help me! Hey there, I'll help you, pretty damsel. Are you a prince? Yep, surely am. Get me down then! Okay, yeah, but... Ladder? Duh! If I had a ladder, I wouldn't need your help. Scram! I can see from up here that the witch is on her way, and I've got a lot of jewels and gold and stuff that I want to bring down with me. <laughs> here I am, as wicked and witchy as ever. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Let down your hair. As the mean princess puppet throws down her stringy hair, Sock watches the marionettes pointing stringy arms and sighs miserably. <sighs> Poor Sock only wants to be friends. Miss Clown looks at Mr Pepper. The children watch the marionettes. No one looks at Sock. Except at the back of the audience is a lady watching Sock like this. Sock watches back like this, until Sock and the lady are looking at each other like this. Sock likes the lady's shiny glasses and tidy hair. Sock likes the lady's neat outfit with buttons to the top. The lady keeps watching Sock with a serious expression and with the bright lights, her shiny glasses and the hot room, I feel a bit dizzy. The marionette's play ends. The prince pretends to cut off the witch's head while the mean princess pretends to be nice. It's all very confusing. My head aches. The grown-ups clap. Miss Clown claps. Mr Pepper helps the marionette's bow. The children stampede and hug Sock again. Oh, I'm starting to feel a bit sick. The lady in the neat coat appears suddenly and grabs Sock. Oh, help me, Miss Clown. I'm being <coughs> stolen. The lady in the neat coat slips Sock into a plastic bag. Look me out. The lady in the neat coat carries Sock to Miss Clown. She talks seriously to Miss Clown and Mr Pepper who nod seriously. Sock can't hear because of the plastic bag and the children cheering. Sock feels tired and poorly and... Oh, my tummy hurts. <sighs> Have you ever been a bit poorly and fallen asleep in the daytime? Or woken up and you weren't in your tidy sock drawer? Sock can tell from the nice clean smell that this is still the hospital. It's dark and Sock can hear voices like teeny tiny animals. <laughs> Miss Clown, is that you? I don't feel very well. Oh. Outside, Bonnie washes her hands. In a laboratory, it's very important not to touch anything after you've washed your hands, so lights come on as soon as Bonnie walks into the room. <coughs> Hello, Sock. Oh, who is that? 
Now, now, Sock, they're bigger than you. <coughs> oh, oh, why are they following me? Oof, 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 oof. They've latched onto you. These are the bugs from the children in the hospital. When the children ran up to hug you, Sock, all their bugs came too. Oh, 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 go away, you horrible germs. I want to go home. <coughs> Sock begins to cough. Bonnie explains that Miss Clown is waiting to take Sock home, but to make Sock better, Bonnie must find out more about the bugs first. How do we do that, Bonnie? By asking the bugs questions with tests. While you're asleep, Sock, I've been busy. I think I know enough now about them to know their names. Oh, horrible super bugs. Ugh, I don't want to know about them. <coughs> oof, oof, oof. Well, Sock, I'm a healthcare scientist. I think all bugs are super, but not all bugs are super bugs. Oh, they're nasty. Oh, picking on me just because I'm a sock. Oh, a smelly sock. There, there, sock. They're not picking on you, not really. They're just taking their chance to jump on you and do their own show. Mm. Bonnie takes sock to her microscope, which makes tiny things look visible or large, and she shows sock the first bug. This is Sue. <laughs> Sue could live in the garden. It loves playing in water, follows us around all the time and glows in the dark. <laughs> <gasps> it really wants our attention, like a little puppy. <coughs> this fluffy one is E. coli. E. coli can be very helpful, but sometimes it tries a bit too hard. I try to help everybody, Bonnie. I know you do, Sock, but when children are poorly, we don't want them being bothered by E. coli. Or this one. Let's call it Staffy. Staffy is the accidental superbug because it lives on our skin, keeping everything clean from bad bugs that make us poorly. <gasps> Perhaps it does too much cleaning sometimes. Yes, it does. And that makes us itch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <coughs> the next one is Strepto. See these two green blobs? Strepto likes to go around in pairs and do everything together. <gasps> like me and Miss Clown. I'm sorry, little bugs. You're not horrible. You're trying too hard. In the wrong place. And want lots of friends. Like me. I feel a lot better now, Bonnie. Bonnie says that Sock is getting better now because of her medicines. But it's really important to move all the bugs back to their right places and keep them away from children in the hospital who are still poorly. We're tidying the bugs up. Oh, but oh, how will I sing with Miss Clown and the children in the hospital? What if they hug me and we all get poorly? Well, I was telling Miss Clown about your bugs and she's had an idea based on this last little fella, Clepsy. <coughs> Clepsy is a performing superbug. It can pretend to be other bugs, popping up as a different character depending on the story of your illness. <gasps> like a puppet! Yes, and when Clepsy wants to put on a big show, it can invite all its friends to turn up in the same costume. Clepsy's given Miss Clown a clever idea, but let's find Miss Clown so she can tell you all about it herself. Bonnie washes her hands and helps Sock wash and dry and they leave the laboratory. 
They find Miss Clown and Mr Pepper in the room with the big stage. Miss Clown is so excited to see Sock that she forgets to be shy and is cured from ever being shy at all. Miss Clown! Oh Sock, I'm so happy to see you. Now are you well enough to sing? Yes, I think so. But how will the children join in this time? Well, I think I've got an idea. Did Bonnie tell you about Klebsiella? Oh yes, Klebsi can dress up as other bugs like a puppet in a play and it can call for all the other bugs to do the same. Yeah. And haven't you always wanted to meet a lot more puppets who are just like you? <laughs> uh, maybe the children who are watching can all help. Hello children, hello everybody. It's great to be back performing with you again. When Sock was poorly, Bonnie taught us all about the science of bugs. Sock and I now want to help Bonnie by tidying up the bugs and putting them all back with their friends by singing our favourite tidying up song. <laughs> hello bugs, hello bugs in a mess. Don't you wish that you could be less than a great big mess? Like E. coli in a tummy, helping a seat. Sue in the soil, playing under a tree. Staffy stop cleaning, strep to have a rest. Let's all simply do what we like to do best. Is clown made me from old wool land? Love. It's easy to turn a sock into a glove. Yay! <laughs> if you copy Miss Clown's instructions, we can all be puppets. Mr Pepper waves to Miss Clown as he lines up the marionettes ready to join in Sock's dance. <laughs> the marionettes' painted eyes shine with excitement. It's been a long time since anybody asked them to do anything different or fun. <laughs> we can all join in. Everybody at home, in hospital or wherever you are, now is the time to grab your socks and get ready, okay? If you haven't made a puppet, then get a clean sock <laughs> um, and put it over your hands so you can sing and dance just like us, okay? Ready, everybody? Let's do the sock dance one last time. Everyone ready? Let's sock and roll! I don't have arms, I don't have feet, so we do the sock dance, it's really neat. Nod to your one side, nod to the next, bend to your one side, bend to the next. A wiggle over there, a wiggle over here, squish right down and spring up high. Let's pretend we can all fly. Bye everybody, bye, see you next time. Bye, socks and kids and bugs rule.